So Jalen Rose is now spreading this word that Kawhi Leonard wants out because they can't get free agent signings and they haven't been able to add bigger pieces, even though they had Lamarcus Aldridge. Unfortunately, it's not that the window closed, it's that Tim Duncan just got old and retired. Right. And Tony Parker. Pursued karate. <laughs> pursued karate. <laughs> Also doing great stuff with the United States Virgin Islands. He is. Um, and Tony Parker is just getting old. He's on a minutes limit. At least Popovich is I pointing hate, towards that. I hate to say this into a microphone, but I'm on a television show that people actually watch. So I want to say this. Kawhi Leonard wants out of San Antonio is what I'm hearing. And the reason why is tenfold. One is they've been unable to attract elite level all NBA caliber free agents to come play with him. Think about this. The reason why, in my opinion, and I love the Spurs way, you hear me chanting, go Spurs, go for years. It's still ringing in my ear as they were winning championships, and I considered them a super team over the last couple of decades. We always talk about players going to join large market teams. Who's going to L.A.? Who's going to New York? What's going on in Philly? We never say, who's going to San Antonio to play with Kawhi? I then thought, well, what trades could we get? for Kawhi Leonard to get out of San Antonio. I compiled these again across different mediums and here's what we all put our heads together with. So this would be, uh, the Utah Jazz are like that weird team. They're like the Phillies when they right. were bad. Hey, we have some good pieces that we could add from a bad team. So the Spurs would get Derek Favors, Alec Burks, and Rodney Hood for Kawhi Leonard and one of my favorite names in all of the NBA, Joffrey Lovren. <laughs> Thank that was you. Quite exotic. <laughs> it Look was quite you. Game of Thrones ish. All right, the next one. This would be to the Minnesota Timberwolves. You would get, you would swap a pair of two way players Jimmy Butler, Shabazz, <laughs> Shabazz Muhammad, not the two way player. Uh, Jimmy Butler and Shabazz Muhammad, Ukla, for Kawhi Leonard. All right, fine. Uh, again, do I think any of these are happening? Fuck no, absolutely not. But it's just fun to talk about. The next one would be uh, the Golden State Warriors getting Kawhi Leonard, Good but you'd have God. to give up Klay Thompson and Jordan Bell. Do it, Steve Kerr. He's not gonna do it. No, of course not, absolutely not. So the next one would then go on to be, let's just <laughs> rattle through these. Uh, the Spurs would get Paul George, Oklahoma City would get Kawhi Leonard. What I don't understand about the Hollinger analysis is how Oklahoma City is worse with Kawhi Leonard by seven wins. That's laughable. Yeah, that's pretty Kawhi cool. Leonard is a top three small forward in the NBA right now, ahead of Paul George. Better defensive player. Not, they're almost competent. This is a good uh, idea for another clip. What is the comparison between Paul George and Kawhi Leonard? Who's one. better? Um, so we could do that a little bit later on. And uh, let's see, do I have any more? Nope, that's it. Okay, which ones do you like? I mean, I think they're all pretty absurd. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. <laughs> um, I agree. For shits and giggles, Clay Thompson, uh, he said this many times, like, he likes to be in the Warriors because he likes to win. I'm sure that's the answer for most. Uh -huh. Of course, there's a family connection and he's built a relationship and, you know, things of that sort and what have you. But I also feel like he would have more potential, he wouldn't make more money. He would have more potential and and uh, really utilize his talents in another team. Don't you think he's like a such a Spurs player though? He feels like he, such a Spurs player. He is player. a Spurs player. Good shooter, can he handle the ball. He is a Spurs ball. player, which is why. Big guy who can't dunk, so Spurs-ish. Which is why it was. I was building up to this. That trade, again for shits and giggles, yeah. would make the most sense to me. S and G's. Mm -hmm. All right. Which ones do you like for S&Gs? Thoughts in the comments section below. Subscribe to TYT Sports.